Hey guys, I'm Nick, and on this episode of The Scran Line, I am going to bring you the king of cupcakes. Now, a lot of you have been asking for a bacon maple or maple bacon cupcake, and I will do one at some point, but this is basically taking maple bacon to a whole new level. There's no maple in this, but there is plenty of bacon. In fact, there's a bacon crown on top because these are the Elvis cupcake. So why did I call these the Elvis cupcake? Well, basically because the king himself used to eat these sandwiches and they were called the Elvis sandwich or whatever you want to call it. It had a combination of peanut butter, chocolate, banana and bacon. And some of you might be thinking that sounds gross, but don't knock it till you try it because it tastes incredible. And I decided it needed to be a cupcake so I'm bringing it to you guys today. These are my Elvis cupcakes. Okay guys, so to make these Elvis cupcakes, the ingredients you're going to need are some vanilla extract, sugar, milk, flour, chocolate sauce, a recipe for that can be found on my website, some ripe bananas. I've got some bacon here, which I just grilled. Now this is American style bacon. For those of you in Australia, you can find this at Woolworths. For those of you in America, you can find it pretty much anywhere. So basically what I did with this bacon was put it on a very hot fry pan, grilled it until it's nice and golden brown and you can see all that fat drips out and kind of dries it up. So once it's nice and golden, you want to set it aside on a plate lined with paper towels, let it drain completely and then you can chop it up into little shards. I've got some Greek yogurt which helps our cupcakes stay moist, some crushed peanuts, softened butter. Now I've got some little mini toast discs here. Now let me just explain a little bit how I did these. I basically cut them out with a round cookie cutter, line them on a baking tray lined with baking paper, sprayed them with oil and then I sprinkled them with cinnamon sugar. Now, once I'm done with this, I set them aside and I actually use them on top of the cupcakes right before I bake them. But I'd actually recommend cutting these up into little cubes instead because they kind of turn out like oversized croutons and it's not very nice to bite into when you've got a nice, soft, fluffy cupcake. So if I did these again, I'd cut them up into little cube croutons. I've got some oil here, eggs, baking powder, and some smooth peanut butter. If you're watching this and you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I upload two new videos a week. Now we're gonna start off by caramelizing our bananas. So I've just peeled the banana obviously, cut it up into some rough slices, pop it on a baking tray, and we're gonna sprinkle a lot of brown sugar on top. And guys, I know you're gonna complain about the amount of brown sugar on top, but it is important because it helps caramelize them beautifully. Now you can pop these into an oven on 160 degrees Celsius or 320 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes until they're nice and soft and golden brown. Once they're baked, you can set them aside to cool down completely. We're gonna move on to making our cupcakes. So pop all of your dry ingredients into a large mixing bowl and mix them on low speed. Now, if you're doing this recipe by hand or using a hand mixer, you can simply sift these ingredients together. Once they're well combined, you can add your butter in there and mix it until you reach a crumbly, sand-like texture. Moving on to our wet ingredients, we're gonna pop our milk, oil, eggs, yogurt, and vanilla into a large jug and whisk those up until they're well combined. Once you've got them whisked up nicely, you can pop them into your dry ingredients in a slow and steady stream once that's all in there, you can stop your mixer and scrape down your bowl just to get those bits at the bottom that might not be mixed in properly and mix for a final 20 seconds, always on low speed. Now, those beautiful caramelized bananas that we made earlier, they've cooled down completely. So we're gonna pop them into a food processor. Now, if you don't have one of these little ones or a big one or whatever, you can just use like a sift and push it through the sift to get it nice and mushy. Or if you want some chunks in there and you don't mind the chunks, you can just mash it up roughly with a fork. I'm lining my cupcake tin with some cupcake liners. We're gonna scoop our batter using an ice cream scoop, filling the liners up about three quarters of the way. Now again, I if I was making this again, I would not pop these oversized giant croutons on top. 
I cannot stress that enough. So I've left instructions on how to make the little croutons in the recipe. That's going to be over on my website. Once you've got those on there or not, <laughs> you probably don't want to have those giant croutons on there. Pop them into the oven for about 20 minutes. Once they're completely baked, transfer them to a coolie rack to cool down completely before you frost them. Flavor your buttercream frosting with some peanut butter. The recipe for that frosting can be found on my website. We're going to core the center and fill it up with some yummy chocolate sauce. I'm using a Wilton 6B star tip to frost these cupcakes in a swirl motion before I drizzle them with some chocolate sauce, sprinkle them with some crushed peanuts and finish them off with a generous king size bacon crown. And that's pretty much it. Okay guys, so those were my Elvis cupcakes. I don't know if I should call them the Elvis cupcake or Elvis cupcakes. I think I'll go with Elvis cupcakes. You're gonna find the recipe for these cupcakes on my website, thescranline.com. A link for that is in the box below. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. Now, if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I upload two new videos a week for you guys. And I'm trying to get to 200,000 by the end of the year. So it would be really cool if you could share this video with your family and friends. Let's get more people into this community. My last video is over there for you guys to watch. So click on that for more deliciousness. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you all on the next episode of The Scramline.